Anyway, let's go heal. We can't fight the gym leader just yet. There are two things I have to do first. All right, here we go. Who are you, good sir? Why are you standing in front of the gym? Because, yes, this is the gym. Are you looking for the gym leader? He is not here. He could be in the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. Okay, not just yet. Uh, there is an item back here we can get. Dusk Ball. Excellent. Dusk Ball, probably one of my favorite Pokeballs, just because the design is so cool. We're going to enter this place first, the Dream Yard. There are a couple trainers to fight here, and we do get a free Pokemon at the end of it. So yeah, all, all worth it. Now, who do you... I think two Purloins, I believe, she has? Looks like it. Alas, Eri. Eri? Eri? Nah. Eri. It's the most likely pronunciation. Anyway, Lear... The usual strategy. You're just gonna scratch me up. Okay, I'm good with that. Yep, keep scratching. I'm tanky enough to tank it. Snivy looks like a frail Pokemon, but wow, his defenses are really good. All right, another Leer. Y During battle, you can uh, press the A button or tap the bottom screen to make dialogue or anima uh, move animations go a little bit faster. That's what I'm doing right now. Assist, okay. It's just going to be one of your regular attacks because your only teammate is that other Purloin. Level 12, wow. <laughs> Alright, Malfoy is doing really good. Now, should I heal? You know what, I probably should, just in case the next trainer gets a lucky critical hit. It's happened before, and I hate it when it happens. Let's just heal up real fast. So yeah, viewers, how are you liking this playthrough so far? Do you like that I'm kind of balancing it with Yokai Watch? I, th I think alternating between two playthroughs will kind of make it a little bit more interesting. Um, so that like you know different sets of fans have something to look forward to. Uh, I'll be alternating every week. Uh, Yokai Watch one week, Pokemon Black the next week, then just keep going back and forth. All right, you I believe have three Pokemon. Outperform gym leaders as if. Youngster Joey. Ah, that infamous, infamous name. I believe he gained infamy in, what, gold and silver? Anyway. Uh, you know, yeah, Leer, why not? Even though using Leer is kind of getting tedious because you do have to use it every time a new Pokemon comes into play. But... Yeah. I can't wait until this guy learns growth because it raises his attack instead of lowering the other Pokemon's defense. So I could just set up and sweep an entire team with Malfoy if I wanted to. And he just used two leers on me. Okay, that's not good. I might have to quit the leer strategy and just keep attacking relentlessly. Yeah, I can easily do that. I, I can two-shot him without Leer. So just whipped him to death. Probably a very painful way to go. And Lillipop comes in. Vine Whip. Okay, Lillipop's a little bit more defensive. One more Vine Whip, and then uh, put him out of his misery with Tackle, I suppose. Alright. 
Yes, they fought well. All right, free Pokemon. If you talk to this lady right here, what was the first Pokemon you received? Snivy, really? Then Panpour could be a big help. Your Snivy does not do well against Fire-type Pokemon. Do you want this Panpour of mine? Absolutely. We got Panpour! Yay. It's another uh, Panpour, Panseer, and Pansage. They make up another elemental trio in this game. I will give them a nickname. Um, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know what? He is a water type. So why not call him Splash? Splash sounds like a good name for him. Alright, our second Pokemon, and we won't be using it for... Or I won't be using it for my main team. Um, Panpour, or the wh whatever monkey you happen to get, it is very important for this first, uh, the, the first gym. Other than that, you can just leave them be. There are much better Pokemon out there. Um, so now that that's done, we can head to the trainer school and uh, do whatever it is we have to do there. Oh yeah, the gym leader was there. So yeah. Go to the, you have to go to the dream, dream yard and visit the trainer school before you can challenge the gym. Now, I'm going to go ahead and swap uh, Malfoy with Splash, that Splash enters battle first, because there's a battle in the trainer school that I have to uh, prepare for. Hello everyone, uh, any items can I pick up? Okay, abilities. Uh, yep. Okay, here, yeah, item here. Here's the question. Which of the following items cures poison? Hmm, I wonder. Definitely not the Paralyze Heal. <laughs> no, it's the Antidote, obviously. Item that cures Paralysis... W really? I never would have guessed. Which of the following items wakes up a sleeping Pokemon? Hmm. I wonder which of these three would wake up a sleeping Pokemon. Definitely not the Awakening. <laughs> And we get a full heal. A full heal actually cures any status ailment. Uh, anything else? Alright. Anyway, let's talk to Churin over yonder. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Thanks for the tip. Have you come looking for the gym leader? Yes, I have. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. This is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Alright. Tren, round two. Just like Bianca, he is an additional Pokemon, but I believe I'm... 100% sure he starts out with his starter. And yeah, that was just confirmed. Good thing I started with Splash here. Alright, Panpour. Now, I'm only using Panpour to set up against Tepig. I'm not actually going to be using him for the battle. I'm just going to set up and let him die. Because... I'm not going to use him, so what's the point of wasting experience? So, do a little bit of damage. One more scratch should do the trick. No one cares, Tren. I just want to get this over with. Oh, I forgot. Held, uh, Tren likes held items, so he got an Orenberry attached. One scratch, and the next turn will be a leer, probably. So yeah, just keep setting up. This is what I like to do, personally. Um, you definitely don't have to do it what I like doing. Um, you can just use your monkey's elemental attack to easily take out uh, Churin's starter. But... Like, giving experience to a Pokemon I'm not going to use anyway just feels kind of like a waste to me. So for this part of the game, Splash is basically going to be my sacrificial Pokemon. 
Malfoy's the real star, star of the show. Tackle. Down he goes. And Purloin. We fought quite a few of these before. Give him the usual Leer and Vine Whip. Something else I really like about um, Pokemon Black and White is that the Pokemon in battle aren't just completely stationary. They, they loop through an animation constantly, and that's something I really like. It helps make the battles feel a little bit more lively, if that makes any sense. But, yeah. Trend is no, con no contest at all. And don't ask me why I used Rap, I just felt like using it. Assist. M. Oh, dear. Okay. Thankfully, Snivy's defenses are amazing. And level 13. Growth, yes! Let's delete Leer. Because growth, in my opinion, is a lot more useful, especially if you plan on sweeping through uh, entire teams of Pokemon with uh, Snivy here. Just, you don't want to have to keep using Leer constantly on every new Pokemon that comes out. I think growth is a little bit more... Um, a little better. Of course, if the Pokemon faints, then um, Leer would be a bit more useful because it affects the enemy Pokemon. So if your Pokemon faints, then obviously the growth boost is rendered uh, kind of insignificant. But yeah, either or. You can use both for all I care. So we're going to heal up. Switch uh, Malfoy back into first place because I no I don't really need Splash anymore at the moment. All right, let's do this. All right, now we can access the gym. Huzzah! And ah, uh, this guy. Ugh. I hate this guy. Yes, yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are? You want to challenge the gym? Uh, duh. What was the first Pokemon you chose? Snivy, I see. It's weak against fire types. You don't say. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. If you haven't challenged... If you haven't done... Go, gun, done the Dream Yard yet, then he will recommend uh, doing a little bit of training there. But, yeah. I've already been there and done that, so let's just go right ahead. Our first gym challenge. Hi. Uh, hello. Sorry. I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym and take this to commemorate the occasion. Fresh water. Free healing item. All right. Now, the whole, th the whole gimmick of this gym, aside from it being a fancy restaurant... Is it's based around type advantages. It's supposed to teach you, teach you about type advantages. Now, the curtain here you, we need to pass through. It has a symbol of a flame on it. Now, what Pokemon are good against fire types? Uh, water types, obviously. I mean, by now, we've already played the type advantage game with Tren and Bianca. And first trainer battle, excellent. Let's get this done. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. All right, so we're fighting a waiter. This should be good. Lily Pup, level 11. Wow, powerhouse Lily Pup coming in. But I'm level 13, so we're going to use uh, the strategy. Growth. Excellent. Excellent move. Raise attack and special attack, which is amazing. So uh, Vine Whip him. Outer Sleuth, that's a completely useless move. I have no idea why your AI told you to use that. Bite, ouch. And tackle. Finish him off. I probably don't need to heal. 
I mean, like one, like I have eight HP taken off. It's just why go back and heal? I mean, the next trainer it probably isn't gonna give me that much trouble. Now, what's good against water types? You may ask. Grass types. I all. I almost stepped on the fire type button. That would have been pretty humiliating. <laughs> Especially for someone who's been playing Pokemon ever since the original Red and Blue. The specialty of Striaton Gym, the full course trainer deluxe. I'm your second course. The main course is just behind that last curtain. No dessert, unfortunately. So, Patrat. Now you're probably thinking, like, what kind of gym is this? Usually gyms stick to a specific kind of Pokemon. Or is this uh, is this a normal type gym? Is but it's a gym all about type advantages. So it doesn't. This is like I think the first gym in the the series that doesn't really cater to a specific type. Tackle. Okay, that did a worrying amount of damage, but the next Vine Whip is going to take care of him real fast. Nice. And Purloin. We, don't, we can start hitting him with Vine Whip right away because we used Growth that boosted our attack. Oh, critical hit. That was awesome. Nice going, Malfoy. Level 14. You are fantastic, good sir. Yeah, we're just breezing through the game. Now, what's good against grass types? Fire types, obviously. Now, we're going to go back and heal. Because the gym leader is just beyond that grass type curtain. And wow, the sun has set already. Huh, been inside for like two minutes and the sun's already set. Okay, probably a lot more than two minutes because... As I've observed before, time flies when I do these playthroughs. Alright. It's time to do the gym challenge. You know, I should probably save. It's always wise to save. Before an important battle. The gym battles in this game, or at least the, one, at least the um, earlier ones, are actually quite challenging. I'm not quite, I don't really, I haven't really determined which is the most challenging for me, but to be perfectly honest, the first and second gyms tend to give me the most trouble. Anyway, uh, yeah, we've got Malfoy in front as usual, and we're going to go ahead and talk to this guy. Welcome to the Stryton City Pokemon Gym. Whoa, he just used double team, I'm just kidding. So, there's Chili, he's a Fire-type Specialist, and that there is Cress, he's a Water-type Specialist. The guy in the middle, obviously he's a Grass-type, and he is Silen. I hate Silen. If any of you have watched the Pokemon Black and White anime seasons, then you are definitely going to understand why I hate him so much. Just, oh, th that those, those few seasons were crap on their own, but Silen just made them a whole lot worse. Um, you see, as for why the three of us uh, are all here is, well, uh... Oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide, decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case, and the partner you first chose was Grass-type, it seems. That means we're fighting the Fire-type guy, Chili. Personally, Cress is my favorite of the three, but Chili's pretty cool, too. Or would that be hot? Because it uses fire types, you know? You get the joke? I'll stop talking. Alright, time for our first gym battle. Yow! Time to play with fire. I'm the strongest of us brothers. Cue the music. Oh, this music. fan freaking tastic Alright. This guy starts off with Lillipop. Nothing we haven't seen before. Lulipup only has two attacks, though. Bite and Work Up. Work Up's a new move. It's basically a, a normal type version of Growth. It raises attack and special attack. Nothing too, um... Nothing too bad, or too special, I suppose. So we're gonna start it with our attack boosting move, and we're faster than Lulipup. That's fantastic. Speed will definitely give us the edge. 
If possible, we are going to try and get um, Chili to use his uh, potion. He does have a potion waiting in the wings. Uh, we want him to use it on Lillipup because Lillipup is the weaker of his two Pokemon. Vine Whip again. Okay, he's going to use his potion again next turn. Bite actually has a chance of flinching the opponent Pokemon, but I'm faster than him, so it doesn't matter. Alright, Vine Whip. And that's the end for Lillipup. His fate is pretty much sealed. I hope you enjoyed the music, because it's about to end. Whenever the gym leader gets down to his last Pokemon, the soundtrack changes. So, Panseer is going to be up next. We're going to send in our monkey. We're going to send in Splash. As with the fight with Chiren, he's going to be our sacrificial Pokemon. Because we want the experience to go to Malfoy. All right, one more left. Uh, let's use a water gun just to be on the safe side because this guy is pretty um, pretty strong. All right, scratch. Incinerate, that is his fire type move. It has the additional effect of burning up any berry your Pokemon happens to be holding. So yeah, there's that. He's going to keep incinerating. Hopefully he doesn't use workup too many times, because I don't want uh, Snivy to be too threatened when he comes out. So far, so good. He's only using incinerate. Alright, another leer. Another incinerate, yeah. I don't think he's going to be using work up. And another incinerate. This will probably KO Splash. No, it didn't. What I like about battles in this game is that the sound, uh, the, the music also changes when your Pokemon uh, get low on health. In previous games, all you hear was a constant beeping that really got on your nerves after several minutes of hearing it, or even several seconds of hearing it. So, just to be on the safe side, I am going to use one of my two potions on Malfoy, just in case. Okay, he's going to finish off with Incinerate, going to go back to the awesome music. And Malfoy, it's your turn to shine again. All right, let's do this. See, yeah, that's the that's the reason I. Holy mother! What? The hell just happened? I usually struggle with the f I usually struggle with the first gym, but dang. Critical hit. Oh my god, my luck is horrible. I'm going to buy another potion. Uh actually another couple potions. Okay, we're trying that again. That that was just that was awful. Critical hit. Oh my god. That you're going down this time, Chili. <laughs>